The Tiananmen Square massacre on June 4, 1989, reflects the accumulation of tension and conflict in China between the Communist Party and students. Urban dwellers protested for various causes, but rooted in the dissatisfaction with the economic hardships from high inflation that affected both their lives and the suffering people in the countryside. By the end of May, more than one million protesters had gathered in Tiananmen Square holding daily marches. Early morning on June 4th, troops from the People's Liberation Army interfered with the demonstration. They killed demonstrators and bystanders in the process. This massacre received international attention for a violation of human rights. Many of China's writers, intellectuals, and artists fled China after June 4th. The artists that remained avoided official art exhibitions. However, art would continue in secret or abroad. I've highlighted a few important artists whose work approached the effort to mentally and socially unpack the massacre of Tiananmen Square. They represent a body of work that uniquely reflects both personal experience and commenting a principal time in modern Chinese history. Xiao Lu's performance piece, Dialogue, originally spoke to the emotional strain between young men and women to make a personal phone call. At the time, there were no private telephones in China. The artist was going through an emotional relationship personally, so in this piece... It features two figures who are depicted using a telephone. Zhao Lu performed on the day of the opening at 11.10 a.m. by firing two shots aimed at the mirror. There was sudden chaos in the museum as police began to make arrests. Only four months later, on June 4th, Tiananmen Square would find itself in a much larger hustle with students and the People's Liberation Army. Zhao Lu's dialogue exactly what the students wanted with the government. Therefore, Lu's piece is known as the first gunshots of Tiananmen Square. After June 4th, Chinese society as a whole was under political pressure. As for the art world, this opened a particular freedom for artists to work for themselves. They turned to their work to understand personal experiences as well as those of the greater society. Sui Tiang Gao's structure series is in response to the sudden isolation and silence. He worked with stone and steel, and by dry, drawing out their textures and properties, and then in the process of expressing their imagery, reveals his own experience and observations of life. Wang Jin Song was one of the younger generation of painters to confront the events of 1989. He Rwana would say, speaking to taking a picture in front of Tiananmen Square, Wang has vividly captured the soulness of China's artistic circle in the early 90s, reflecting the artist's loss of confidence in the idealism from the previous decade. Feng Lijun's famous bald figures with suggestive gestures and unrealistic spaces expressed a collective mindset present in the 90s in China. Due to the events in the 80s where idealism was shaken, left with a feeling of hopelessness. <laughs>